stepping in and ready for another shot. Tony Perez, he'll try and do what he can to work toward cutting into this big deficit. First pitch fastball off the plate there, and it's ball one. The 1 0. Goes the other way and sends it deep down the right field line. Oh, and this deflects right off him. Around second. He's on his way to third. The relay throw, and he's safe. Wow, that thing rocketed to right field. The outfielder got a decent jump on it and made a great leaping try, but he just can't make a play. By the time he tracks it down, it's too late. The triple was pretty much a done deal. Here's Hanley Ramirez as he will look at a first pitch fastball for ball one. He popped out in his first trip. A ball and a strike to count to the Astros first baseman. You know that can really be an effective pitch to a guy that has a lot of pop. They're up there looking for a fastball up in the zone so if you can place it a little above it they have a hard time getting the barrel up there. The one one pitch. A good knee high changeup taken for a strike. Great job on those last two pitches of varying speeds gave him a hard fastball and then he locked him up with a changeup. Two balls and two strikes to Hanley Ramirez. Boy, if you're going to throw a pitch like that to this guy, you have to make sure it's up above the zone like that. He can't do a whole lot with that, but if it were a little lower, he can and will make you pay big time. The 2-2 gets him looking up around the letters. Flat out locked him up with a changeup right there. Usually you're trying for a swing and miss when you throw that pitch in a two strike count, but clearly he wasn't looking for it, so it's a backwards K for him. Here's the catcher, Yasmani Grandal, comes into this at bat 0 for 1 in the ballgame. From the belt, the pitch. Well hit to right, but foul. I know it's a guessing game but usually when you flip that coin it better come up fastball at this level. You cannot be late right there. That was right in the wheelhouse. Lined hard toward right center. And that finds the outfield grass for a base hit. A runner from third comes across to score as they try and chip away at the deficit. The right fielder number four. Will Myers. Digging in for his second at bat, Will Myers. One in, one out, and one on here in the inning. From the stretch, here's the pitch. A high fastball is in there. You know, Matty, when I first broke into the league, you wouldn't see that high heater first pitch right out of the gate. But I think there's been a change in, in philosophy here. Back in the late 90s, early 2000s, guys wanted to attack you more east-west, get you leaning left-right. Now you're seeing guys attack in the philosophy more north-south. Just with launch angles and exit velocities, I think guys are afraid to throw that sink and fastball for fear that guys are just going to run their barrel in. Not the case with the high fastball. A one and two count to Will Myers. Try again, one, two. And 
he lays off it to even the count two and two. Fouled off. And that's low, so a good eye there as he works the count back full. We could see the runner in motion here on a 3-2 count with one out. There's a pretty good chance he's going to get a pitch to swing at, and if not, it's ball four anyways. 3-2 pitch. Freezes him, a strikeout looking. Now batting, third baseman. Ready for another batting. chance. Buddy Down. Bell looking to put the ball in play here. He went down on strikes in his first at bat. First pitch on its way. Takes a look at one catching the outside corner. Here's a shot to left field and deep. Look at this. Gone as it's into the Crawford boxes. So a two-run homer down the line in left. Third home run for him on the year. And this lead has been cut to just six now. Well, when you're down a bunch of runs, you know the last thing they want to do is walk you. So right there, he picks on a good one to hit and plants it right over the wall. Into the box now, Addison Russell. As he looks at a fastball that's in there for strike one. He's 0 for 1 thus far. Russell behind 0 and 2. I know he's down in the count right now, and it's not looking good, but he's been swinging the bat so well lately. I don't think he minds this one bit. Three runs already home here. Hit on the ground to third. Reese is there. Throw to first will get him easily, and the side is retired. But they strike for three in the inning. Two on this two-run home run. We're through four. It's the Yankees nine and the Astros three. Ready once again, Ted Williams over two for him to this point. Here's the first pitch to him. There's a swing and a high drive into left center field. Lofton going back to the track. And this will find the wall out near the visitor's bullpen. And he is in the second base with a leadoff double. Talk about starting off the inning with a bang. Goodness. When this thing left the bat, I thought it was out of here. And I think he might have, too. Only made it to the warning track, but he glides into second base with a leadoff double. Standing in now, Lou Brock. As the first pitch to him is swung on and missed for strike one. Williams. Set and the 0-1. A swinging strike, and now it's 0-2. 
Yeah, this guy's having a good day right there. You can tell he is all over. His timing is spot on. This pitching staff is going to have to find a way to attack him a little differently. Pulled toward right center field. And this is run down out there in right center as the runner tags from second. And he'll make it up to third safely here with one away. Had a long way to go to make that running catch. And here it is again with the show track numbers. Took a great angle at it. Showed nice closing speed. And ended up running close to 110 feet to finally bring it in. No doubt in efforts his teammates are appreciative of. Ready now, Jorge Posada. He's driven in four already. And yet another big RBI opportunity for him right here. Matt, they couldn't have asked for anyone to hit better in this spot than this guy right here. He looks dialed in at the plate right now. First pitch of the at bat. Big swing, and this one's launched to right field and deep. And that's going to wind up hooking just a bit foul, so a missed opportunity there. And Posada can't make contact with that. He's behind two strikes. As a look, now the pitch. High and deep down the left field line. And this will wind up a foul ball. The next 0 2. And another foul ball. The 0 2 once more. Hit hard up the middle. In there. Base hit. And that ought to get the run in from third. Dan, how hard is it to massage your way through such a deep lineup? I mean, even the eight, nine hole hitters are solid big league players. You know, Mark, these days you're not seeing a lot of defensive specialists in the infield or outfield. If you're in that starting lineup these days, there's a pretty good job you can swing the bat. Stepping in now, Yogi Berra. And it's grounded just foul down the line. One for two in the ballgame thus far. The last at that, Matty D. We heard this guy's a good fastball hitter. He got a fastball and didn't miss it. We'll see if they pitch him a little bit differently this time and mix in some off speed pitches. Lifted into the air out towards center field. Lofton on the move. And that's the second out of the inning. Now batting, shortstop, Ernie Banks. So back to the top of the Yankee order, digging in, Ernie Banks. Perhaps he can drive another one out of the park, just like he did back in the second. First delivery to him on the way. A swing and a shot hit down the corner. And foul, though it had the home run distance. Has a look, now the pitch. Popped him up. Perez has got it, and the side is retired. A run on two hits for the Yankees. Last half of the fifth coming up. It's the Yankees 10 and the Astros 3. So the lineup.